Leo. What's good, guys? Thank you so much for watching Mama Faya Tarot. I am Melissa, and I am here to give Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node, um, any strong Leo placement in your chart, a love reading. So I'm going to pull on two energies, and uh, you may resonate with either side. And if you resonate with me as a reader and you want a personal reading, you can check out my website. It's linked um, below. Um, the mobile version still has a little bit of work to do, but I'm going to link it. You can now book through mummifyatarot.com again, and I am a very happy girl about it. Um, I am a Leo rising in North Node myself, hence Mama Faya. I'm all three fire signs, and I often resonate with Leo readings. And so I hope this resonates with you too. And if it does, there's another option too where you can rent the extended over on Ribbon. Um, or you can subscribe to my channel over on Ribbon and get access to all the videos, all the extended. So um, your choice, just either rent the individual or join the, the subscription service. Uh, either way, I'd love to have you. Um, very, very grateful to have you. So, And I will be announcing um, membership options next week. All right, my beauties, so let's do this. Um, oh, what else? Check the description box below for some really great deals on some amazing health and wellness products, including uh, your CBD store, Brookline, my girl, Cassandra. Um, you can get 10% off products of hers that I use every day. So go check her out on Instagram. Uh, and go check me out on Instagram while you're over there. All right, and thank you, thank you, thank you to all my subscribers. Um, and people who support me week after week, um, either on Ribbon, here on YouTube, or who book personals, uh, just know that your support uh, by subscribing, liking, commenting, booking, all that stuff um, goes to help feed my small family, and uh, that means the world to me. So please continue to do those things. Please continue to help the channel grow, share with people that you think it may be helpful with, and um, I will just keep providing these amazing readings for you guys. All right, let's do this. Uh, dear Father God, Mother Earth, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering this sacred space, so mo it be. All right, here we go, here we go. Leo, whoa. You are definitely a healer, Leo, of some kind. So you want to, like, really embrace that energy. Um, you may be feeling a little bit of, like, imposter syndrome. I know I went through that where, um, you know, it's like, no, I'm not psychic. I'm just really good at guessing shit, you know? Or, like, um, oh, I could never do Reiki. They're so good at Reiki, but I could never, you know, learn Reiki. And learned Reiki. It's not hard, you know? I mean, it's hard. It's not easy. But it's definitely, you know, um, the journey is not easy, but it's worth it. And I think Leo's starting to realize that being on a more spiritual journey, while at times it can be downright taxing, um, it definitely is worth it. And you know that you're in the right place. Like you just have this intuitive sense. Even if you've had like a big shakeup of some kind, you know that like you are in the right place at the right time and it's time to grow. Uh, very, very smart with this wise one, Leo. So you know what's up. Uh, very intuitive. Ooh, dream and journey. This card keeps coming out in these YouTube readings. Uh, pay very close attention to your dreams right now and what's coming through. Take time to reflect on any random thoughts or any anything like that. There's definitely someone you may be missing, Leo. Um, someone that, like, maybe you haven't talked to in a while. You may need to take time to reflect on what you want to say to this person. I don't know. I'm, I'm I, You know, the Druid, this guy's been coming out a lot too lately. And it seems to me that the Druid, like, he's the guy that, that misses somebody. That's thinking about somebody. Like, doesn't he look like that dude that, like, you know, thinking about the girl that got away? I don't know. But it's almost like, or spirit is instructing you to hold space for people, um, even if it's just in your heart, you know, and don't wish anybody any, any kind of ill will, because that don't help. That doesn't help. You know, you can't 
wish bad on people and expect to get good shit. So make sure that you're taking the time to reflect about everything, you know? Stay rooted and grounded. Your person definitely could be an earth sign. Um, they want to exchange energy with you. Like, they want to talk. Um, but there's something about them needing to take care of their needs. Um, this may be the type of person who gives and gives and gives to others quite a bit and has really let other people or things get in the way of the connection or something. That's what I'm getting really strongly. Um, it's almost like this person needs to, like, learn to take care of their needs, too. They may be quite the giver or someone who, you know, um, lets other people, like, just suck them dry. You know, those, like, martyr-like people. You know, the people pleasers. That's what I'm getting. Ooh, great teacher. So, Leo, this person was definitely brought into your life to teach you something. Um... Might be a Sagittarius. Ooh, sun at the bottom of the deck. All right. So, yeah, definitely could be dealing with a Sagittarius. The Sagittarius or someone with Sag in their chart was definitely brought in to um, teach you something, Leo. And it's almost like while they learn, like you're watching them learn something and you're learning by proxy, if that makes sense. Like it's almost like you may be watching them from afar, Leo. You could even be, like, they may even be meeting you in the dream space. I don't know. I know I got my Boston mug and my Boston tank on today. I'm all Bostoned out. Um, representing. Anyway. Um, yeah, Leo, whoever this person that you may miss or think about or may not be speaking to right now. Or you may even be speaking just not in the capacity that you want. I don't know. Um, ooh, temperance, more Sag energy. Leo, you're being patient. Like, you know that there's some... Or this, this take time to reflect is you needing to, you know, just trust that spirit got you back. I love that temperance was the first cut out for us, Leo. Um... It, it definitely seems to me that spirit is guiding you here, whether you're speaking to this person or not. Ten of Cups and the Star? What? Whoa. Leo. Um, okay, so there's something here about you needing to have patience. Um, maybe... Do your best to heal or make sure that your home feels like a, a nice healing place to be. I do think you love this person very, very much. Did I call you Sagittarius? Or, oh, sorry, I just had kind of like a bleh. You may have Aquarius in your chart, Leo, um, or Sagittarius. But it does seem to me that um, you're looking for healing. Yeah, Leo, you're only looking for... Equal give and take. Oh, you know what, Leo? If you met somebody new, you may have been wishing for someone like this. Maybe you didn't really... Oh. Okay, so this may not be even like... Not for all my Leos, anyway. That you weren't necessarily missing someone, but that you were like maybe kind of lonely and sort of wishing someone like this would come into your life. Um, and then spirit shows up and delivers. Um, wow. And, and you just really wanted something that was equal give and take. It does seem that Leo was like, okay, I'm going to allow universe, God, spirit to sort of bring in what it brings in and I'm just going to appreciate it and explore it and I'm going to trust that maybe God knows better for me than even I do and it does look like you practiced a lot of detachment yeah you whoa you may have just moved or moved away from um 
some energy vampires yourself, which is what this other person may also be doing. Um, it looks to me like you, whoa, Leo is changing up their energy in relationship in general, where you're not overgiving anymore. You're not chasing. You're not overgiving. You're not overdoing anything. You're finding your balance. Yeah. And if, if the person you're dealing with doesn't get on board with where you're at, Leo, you absolutely are going to let it go. It's almost like Leo is not settling for anything less than the Ten of Cups. And if you give them anything less, they're going to let you go. So I wouldn't F with Leos right now, um, cross watchers. If you think you can test a Leo, um, I wouldn't. All right? They, like, Leo energy right now is, if you give to me, I'm going to give to you. If you treat me like shit, I am eliminating you from my life. Period. No, like, there's no fight. There's no nada. Like, you're just done. Ooh, my poor mic. I keep smashing it. Um, I'm, today, I'm one of those um, obnoxious YouTube readers with their mic showing. Anyway, wow. All right, so, Leo, um, I think the person who, okay, so there's a lot going on for Leo, and I think you're dealing with a lot of different aspects here. So you have, like, one group of people, this reminds me a little bit of Gemini, one group of people who, um, who you're leaving behind. Like, you've had it, you can see, like, you're letting some people go, and you're embracing a whole other way of life, moving away from some people and, and moving into something totally different that is what your definition of happiness is. And this person who also used to give to others way too much, is committing to you. You may be dealing with a Taurus. Um, this person is definitely, in, like with temperance and the Hierophant coming out as the first two cards, this is absolutely divinely guided. Um, yep. So there's, there's this, either this new person, this love interest, definitely romantic. It feels very, very romantic here. Um, that has come in and changed everything for you. And, yeah, uh, Nine of Pentacles. So this person may also struggle with commitment. They are very, very abundant. Like, they, they're totally single. There's no third party. Um, the only thing I can see here is that they struggle a little with commitment, mainly because I think this person is going to be honest with you. I think they're going to tell you that like a lot of people have tried to use them for what they got and they just don't, they have trust issues. Yep. But meeting Leo switch that around and they're very, very happy with you, Leo. Uh, very happy. And it's like, it's almost like, you know, that person who wouldn't commit to anybody and then all of a sudden, like, they're committed to some, this one person and no one can figure out what that person did. Well, Leo, in this instance, you're that person. And it looks like all you had to do was just trust the universe. So, like, it's, it's, yeah. Good job, Grasshopper. You manifested uh, an amazing relationship. It's just there's probably a couple red flags here. Yep. So, all right, here's the red flags, right? Um, they definitely... Well, and it looks like, though, they're being honest with you, though. That they worry about disappointment. They're going to be worried about losing you. Um, this person may suffer from depression or anxiety or something like that. Um, this person may have stayed single for a long time because love was a huge disappointment for them, um, and they didn't want to get hurt again, but there's something about you that makes that worth it. Like, I just, 
I would be very careful with each other because you both are, um, I don't want to say like sensitive, but like a little raw because Leo, you got this other drama over here and then you're, you're in this person's life and I think you're triggering them a little bit, like their fear of abandonment or, you know, their fear of loss. So it's like, you know, but as long as you keep the communication wide open and clear, I mean, I don't know, man. Let's see. This person, if you two broke up, this person regrets it. If this is one of those, like, typical retrograde and it's not a new person, or the people Leo, okay, so, oh, Leo, so this person sees that you have no problem dropping people and that's what's making them a little scared to lose you like they know that they have to act right in order to keep you because there's a whole other subset of people over here that you've just completely just walked away from so leo is entering a whole new whole new cycle a whole new you know lifestyle um that is going to be a lot more emotionally fulfilling than what you've been doing. Yep. And this person is making you see love differently. Big time. That's beautiful, Leo. This person definitely... Um, and for a while, Leo, you may have been single too. Because you, you didn't trust people anymore. Like, you lost a lot of trust. Wow. Leo, it looks to me like you you may be struggling a little bit to express yourself or figure it out, but you are completely in love with this person. Um, this is the new love, but I think you you too you like you struggle to tell them these things because because um, you're afraid it'll either scare them off or you know. Uh, some of my Leos with some of these cards may have more than one person who's interested in them as well. And you may have to choose. Um, it looks like some of my Leos uh, may get approached by more than one person at the same time. And you're going to have some big choices to make. Whoa, that's causing some anxiety. That's for just some of you. You may, oh, I don't know if I mentioned it. You may resonate with some of this reading, all this reading, none of it, you know? So just take what resonates. Trash the rest. Leave it for the other Leos. But um, let's see. Who the world. All right, for some of you, um, the world usually indicates an ending but what I'm getting is that they they like I'm getting more that they're just terrified to lose you that they're terrified now that they know you that you're gonna go somewhere or that and I hope that they don't manifest this like your new partner may be like oh my god what if they go somewhere and then all of a sudden they manifest someone else into your life that would suck yeah because it, yeah that's exactly okay spirit uh, thank you. This is what I was saying. They're stuck in their head. They are, the, Leo, they are terrified of losing you. They do not, they are not, wow. They got to stop thinking that way so much though, because they're, they're getting kind of Lenny-ish. If you watch my Bill Leo reading, um, be a, Le be a Drew, not a Lenny. That was one of my best readings I think I've ever done for YouTube. And, uh, it's funny because I was in that reading, I was telling Leo not to be a Lenny. Now I want to tell Leo's person not to be a Lenny. Like, because if they start squeezing the bunny, which is Leo, you're not gonna, you're not gonna, uh, huh, you're not gonna like it, Leo. You, no one wants to be the bunny that's getting murdered in Lenny's hands. Ooh, seven of swords. They may, they're not telling you this, though. I think they are trying to keep it cool. There is an element of this person. I'm not even taking that Seven Swords as a bad thing. I think they're just not telling you how much they um, 
are afraid to lose you. And I think that's good. I think they should, probably should keep it to themselves. Because, again, like, I'm getting, like, totally squished bunny vibes. And no one wants to be a squished bunny. All right? Read of Mice and Men, for real. Um, Leo, wow. Queen of Wands. Um... Okay, for some of you, this person may be ending another relationship to come be with you, um, and they're not telling you. That's, that feels like it came out of nowhere and is, is there might be a Taurus or another Leo. I don't know. For some of you, this person's leaving a relationship to come be with you, Leo. And you may already be with someone else. Whoa. All right, so that's for some of you. Um, others of you, it's they're so afraid to lose you because, like, they just see you as a queen of wands. They just see you as their everything, and they just really don't want to lose you. Yeah. To, to, whoa. Okay, that last message about for some of you... Uh, about someone dropping someone else for you. That's bit. That's that's for a lot of you. That just seemed to come out of nowhere. And they may lose money if they go. My crown is actually saying that. So I don't know. I don't know. Could be a fixed sign. Strong fixed sign. Um, or what this person needs. What my advice for your person is. Is definitely make sure that like you know. You talk to them about lack mentality about energy, about if they focus on losing you, they're going to lose you. Like, that's the way to manifest that. And I'd hate for something really beautiful to end because someone squeezed Leo, you know, in the way that I was telling Leo not to squeeze people. Um, there is some real love here. So I'm going to take this over to Ribbon now and see, you know, uh, can... Can we work this out here? Because, you know, um, there. this is a really sweet connection that looks like it's it's divinely guided and anxiety may cause some issues. And I just hate to see that happen. All right. Love you guys. Take care.